If you're following Depp and Heard and the things that surrounded it in the last couple of years, you probably know Amber's got a friend named Eve Barlow, who on this channel I report about a little bit. And the thing is, Eve was on Instagram, Twitter, Substack, posting all kind of things. But for a while, Eve stopped on Twitter, and now it seems Eve is back. Now, the funny thing is, Eve says something here. I'm not sure if it's a joke or sarcasm or whatever, but it's something I've been saying, a warning I've been giving to people who say, leave Amber alone, make her irrelevant. And the reason I say not quite yet is because what she's doing is she's trying to stay silent for the year until Aquaman 2 comes out so people forget about what she did. I do not mean Johnny fans. I do not mean people who know everything. I mean people in the middle, on the fence, the independents, you could say. So let's see what Eve says. Here's the first tweet. Plaintiff PR strategy. Go away for a year, come back with something big, which is about what I've said over and over on this channel, which it appears she's doing and which I think she got the advice to do. Oh, and make sure you put paparazzi on the defendant the week before your big comeback vehicle to absolve yourself from responsibility for any of the consequences of your obsessional abuse. Now, I'm not totally, totally clear what this is about, but it seems like she gave something away there. And that is a strategy, I'm pretty sure, that Amber is taking up. Just to note, this has got almost 50,000 views in 11 hours. It's about on 48,000 right now. I clipped this out a little while ago, which ain't bad. Nothing groundbreaking. Big YouTubers get more, but it's decent. It's nothing that's like so small. But of course, that could be a lot of Johnny fans checking up and checking out what she's saying. I mean, it only has 53 hearts out of that many views. So yeah, that says something too. Pretty low. A video that got that many views generally has around a thousand, something like that. Maybe more, maybe two, three thousand. Obviously different every time. And not like Amber needs a big comeback because she's in a big movie. The part might be short. We don't exactly know until the movie comes out. I got some good business advice about not worrying about something until it actually happens. You could speculate, you could guess, but until the event actually happens, you can't say things for sure. So they say her part's cut down, but maybe two weeks ahead of time, they'll say, oh, we added this and that back in. I don't know, we'll have to see. I wouldn't put it past Hollywood these days. And then she says this, which is somewhat interesting, and it seems to be, geared towards both fans, not just Johnny fans. If you're posting images of Amber and her toddler online, you're engaging in non-consensual trading of her and participating in an invasion of privacy that is a continued security threat to a celebrity who still receives torrid daily abuse due to her abuser's power and influence. You are no fan, stop. So when she says you are no fan, I think she means Amber fans. Because obviously, she knows that Johnny fans are not fans. I don't know the legalities, and obviously, this is international, so it must be a little different in every country, but the platforms themselves, like Twitter, YouTube, Rumble, whatever else, obviously don't have rules against this. I'd have to guess common sense-wise, if it's a public place she's in, she can't claim privacy. If she's in a park in Spain wide out in the open, that she doesn't own, it's public property, I don't see how that's private or any type of invasion whatsoever. If she's at a wine store with you-know-who right here, that's a public place. Anyone's free to go there, take pictures, etc. If someone went to her house, cameras through her window, then yeah, she's got a case. But we're talking about public areas here. I could be wrong. I state all the time, I'm no lawyer, I'm not law enforcement, but that would be common sense to me. Also, I've mentioned that on Twitter, at least on my iPhone, I see that Eve has got a donation button ready. And if you get Twitter blue, 
you could have a subscription option where people can pay $3 a month to support you. That might be why she's getting on Twitter. She knows most likely Amber fans will just subscribe, help her out, things like that. She's got over 60,000 followers, so Common Sense says she'd get some subscribers. It's not like she'd get like two or three or four out of like 60,000 followers. She'd get enough where it would probably be worth it to come back to Twitter for her. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Obviously, I'll keep following, seeing what she's up to. There's no real plan here on this channel as far as content, but until Aquaman 2 comes out, I'll still be keeping an eye on these people, on these folk, whatever you want to say. And if you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad about it, but I'll get over it. Before I forget, shout out to Beatrix Kidder on Twitter. She sent me this. Thank you so much, Beatrix. Okay, now we're really done. See you next time.